What's up guys, Hong Yuin here for OG Fitness. And in this video, we're gonna talk about how I crushed and survived, or survived and crushed COVID-19. This is just my opinion and take on it. For those of you guys who don't know, uh, well now you know, like probably the, the thumbnail and <laughs> the title of the video. I contracted COVID-19 uh, about a week and a half ago. Started feeling a little bit sick, so I said, okay, I might as well go get tested. Once you get tested, you have to essentially stay home until the results come in. So I stayed home, so that was on a Wednesday, and then on Friday, they called me up and they said, okay, you're positive, so you gotta stay home for 10 days since the beginning of the symptom. If after 10 days, I'm okay. Uh, I'm in Quebec, Canada, Montreal, guys. So on the eighth day, if you have no uh, fever, you're good. 24 hours before uh, the 10th day, if you have no symptoms, then you're good. You could go outside now. You don't have to uh, quarantine yourself anymore. Day number one, when I went to get tested, I started feeling a slight headache, a sore throat. Next day, day number two, that's when it started getting worse. On, on Thursday, it got worse. And because it got worse, I said, F this, I'm gonna take some Tylenol. After the third day, like the, uh, the sore throat thing was gone completely. So for me, that's what it was, nagging fever and slight headache for seven days. Seven days later, when I was back 100%, and then after that three days, well, you know, I, I was out and about again. I understand, guys, that some people are healthy, they catch it, and they have nothing, any symptoms, or, you know, it's really not that hard for them to, to get over it, to recover from it. And some people, they're healthy, and oh my God, it hits them like a ton of bricks. What I'm saying is that if you're healthy, you will survive. If you're not healthy, your chances of dying are much higher. Now, even if you're healthy though, it doesn't mean that you might get it easy, you might get it hard. Bottom line is that you're better off being healthy. They're saying usually with these pandemics, it's about something like 18 months. You gotta let it run its course kind of thing. And then after that pretty much, well, you know, uh, once everybody kind of gets it. Now, in terms of a vaccine and all that, I mean, they're talking about like five years, I think. That's what I've heard. Like, I don't listen to the news too much because, you know, it gets, uh, it gets pretty intense. You gotta be healthy, and being healthy consists of being low body fat percentage and the cardio, the cardio. And you gotta get, obviously, sleep is a big part of being healthy because if you don't sleep enough, you're gonna mess up your whole system. Like, that's when your body clears out all the toxins in your brain, and then your body repairs itself and all kinds of stuff. If you don't sleep enough on top of that, your cortisol level is gonna be shot up all the time, and that completely messes up with your system. I kicked it, I'm 41, uh, it took me seven days, and you know, I read and I listened to what was going on regarding the virus, I'm like, you know, it's, it's just a Chinese flu, man. Because it comes from it's China. Racist. It's not racist at all, no. Not at all. It comes from China. I gotta tell you guys a joke. Don't cut this out, Sasha. This is a joke. When I mentioned this to one of my buddies uh, uh, down in Florida, and he told me, well, yeah, you know, man, I'm gonna make a video about this, how, how I survived, you know, COVID. I was making a joke, and he told me, well, you could say something like this. This virus was engineered by Chinese people to kill Chinese people, and I'm half Chinese, and it didn't kill me at all. And now, one of the reasons for that is because, well, you know, I'm, I'm probably a lot healthier than uh, your average Chinese dude, so. <laughs> you crazy. You know, it's a little bit of conspiracy theory there, but it was meant to kill a whole bunch of Chinese people, you know, I don't know, like maybe population control or whatnot. So for those of you guys who are healthy, stay healthy, keep working on your cardio. For those of you guys who are not healthy, it's not too late. This, this pandemic thing might like drag on for years on end, you know? So you gotta, and everyone's gonna catch it. Everyone's gonna catch it. That's my belief, you know? So you gotta be ready so that you can survive. So the way to survive it is to be healthy. So don't be, don't be fat, work on your cardio and uh, get enough sleep, eat properly, drink water and all that. And you know, like chill on the stress, man. It's just a, it's just a Chinese virus. All right, guys, love you. Peace. What's up guys, Hong here. So thank you very much for watching and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and click on the notification bell. Also, there's a link down below. If you guys click on it, it's gonna bring you to a page where you could follow me on all my social media platforms and you can also apply for, uh, for coaching so that you guys can work directly with me. Also, one last thing guys, if you have any questions, right, send me an email. That's the best way to reach me. Uh, the fastest way to reach me and uh, I'll be in touch. I'll, I read them and I'll, I'll answer your, your questions, man. All right, peace.